even though this piece that I'm finishing up is going to be roughly five feet by 11 feet, give or take some dimensions, we're gonna go and work on the actual installation of it. And it's gonna be somewhat dimensional. So I made it a little bit bigger so that we can shape it. But it seems that the longer I work on it, the smaller the pieces I'm putting together are. So they're, you can see how big my face is to give you a sense of scale. See, it's little tiny pieces like this that I'm sewing together. And it's interesting to me because I find, looking around, see if, yeah, so I can show you. You can see on this, there's something about the color and it's organic to me. So you can see here these edges, the way these edges are. And I find myself, when I, when I put the two different colors together, I get a visceral or a physical sensation when it's right. There really is a psychology to color and everybody's individual mind and eye and sight are different. Those of you that know about color theory even know the fact that we have rods and cones in the back of our eyes and when I see red, you might see pink or somebody else might see an orangier color. So as every human being individually is different, the color they see is different too. But somehow I still feel that I can construct a universal language with these little bits of color. And the other thing is when they're juxtaposed, of course, they change colors. So if I put red next to blue, it looks different than if I put it next to purple or if I put it next to green. And those are really fun things to explore. So that's what I was thinking about today. Like and subscribe if you want to hear more.